Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you might notice that I sound very sick right now because I am very sick right now. My chest is sore, my throat is sore, my nose is all sniffly. Everything is wrong with me right now. Um, so yeah, that's why I sound a bit weird and it's probably even more apparent in my mic as well. So yeah, whatever. Um, but it's Christmas, it's Christmas. I'm in such a good Christmas spirit and I wanted to film a super Christmas look. I even got like a full blown like Santa dress on, like, like full blown Santa. Yeah, I know. Um, so this is a Christmas look and it's like super red, red lip, red on the eyes, white and silver, glitter, everything you could possibly want for Christmas on your eyes really. And um, we've even got my star earrings in to give a bit more festive if I couldn't get any more festive right now. Um, my hair is a bit mental because I crimped it yesterday when I was going to my Christmas party in work and it's still like this basically. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna brush it because if I brush it, it will like be out here. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So yeah, this is the look. I hope you all like the look. Um, and if you do want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so we are gonna start off with our Urban Decay Primer Potion and we are gonna pop that all along the lower lash line and all along the lid just to give us something to stick our shadows too so it stays on really well and comes out super pigmented. Then I'm going to take the lightest shade out of this Inglot Rainbow Shadow in the shade 124, just like a very soft raspberry pink. And on a MAC 224, I'm just blending that into the crease and the outer corner of the eye. Just build it up as much as you want. This is basically our transition shade for this look. Next, I'm taking Inglot's eyeshadow in the shade AMC 50, which is just a bright, bright red. And I'm using that on a MAC 217. And I'm just popping that also on the outer corner and into the crease, blending it into that first shade that we use just to give us a nice red base. And then going back in on my 224 from MAC and using that to blend the edge out. To darken the look, I'm taking Inglot's eyeshadow in AMC 55, just to give a little bit of depth. I don't want it to be too dark. I still want it to be like bright red, but this just adds a little bit of dimension to the eye. And then I'm going in with the shade 35, which we used in the last look. And, or no, my Elsa look. Yeah, that one. And it's just a shimmery white, really nice and sparkly. And I'm just popping that all over the rest of the lid where I basically have no shadow. And then just going in and where the two meet, I'm just wiggling my brush just to blend and soften the edge. I'm going back in with my 217 with a little bit of that bright red just to also help blend the edge. Then I'm taking the shade 55 again, the darker shade, and using that along my lower lash line really close to my lashes. Just to give a nice smoky lower lash line. I'm bringing that all the way along my lower lash line. I'm using a little Real Technique shader brush and using the bright red again, the shade 50, using that to smudge out that darker red and then concealing my under eyes. I'm taking the shimmery white, the 35 shade and popping that on my inner corner just to give a little bit of a highlight in there. For my liner, I'm using the Inglot AMC gel liner in the shade 79, which is a red liner and it's the most beautiful red liner ever. Um, mine's a tiny bit dried up because I don't use it too often don't get a mu much opportunity to use it but yeah I use that to line my upper lid nice big wing on it as well to give us a nice red base for the glitter that we're going to use also I do apologize if I sound so nasally and horrible you can mute me it's absolutely fine I do sound gross I'm so sick right now for my glitter liner, I'm taking a Collection Cosmetics Glam Crystal Dazzling Liner in the shade Dancing Queen, which is like a red pink sort of glitter. And I'm just popping that all along where we applied that red liner first. Give us a lovely bit of Christmas sparkle. For my waterline, I'm using the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Yeo or Yeo or whatever it's called. It's just a shimmery white and just popping that into the waterline. You could have done black, you could have done red as well. I just want to do white just to tie in with the white on the lid. And then finish off the eye with a little bit of mascara. I'm using the MAC Bold and Bad Lash just because that's what I'm using right now. And I will probably be using it for the next few months until it's dried up. But yeah, I am popping that on my top and bottom lashes. 
I also wanted to add a little bit of silver in just for some extra sparkle and I'm taking the MAC Super Slick Liner in the shade Nocturnal which is a really nice sparkly silver. You will also see this liner in my New Year's Eve come look coming up but I basically did like almost like where I would do a half cut crease but not a half cut crease I just kind of drew a line in there just for a little bit extra definition and you can't really see this in any of the photos or anything like that you could see it in real life but I popped a tiny little bit just on the inner corner part of my lower lash line. I popped on my Kiss Flirty Lashes. And then onto the cheeks, I used the Nabla Contour Powder in the shade Gotham, cause you know, it's called Gotham and it's beautiful. And I use that to sculpt out my cheekbones a little bit and also my temples and my lower lip and forehead and everything like that. For my blush, I'm going in with Benefits Blush in Bella Bamba, which is a lovely pink. Not too much because it is quite strong. Just popping that onto my cheeks and blending it into my contour. And for my highlight, I'm taking Makeup Geek Highlight in the shade Glitz, which has a pink hue off it. It's not a duochrome, it's just like a shimmery, pale colour, but it has a bit of a pink to it. I didn't film this part because I'm an idiot, um, but I used the Cafon D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Rosary to line my lips, and then Max Lipstick in Mac Red, and pop that all over for a Christmassy red lip. Alrighty guys, so that is your finished look. I hope my annoying sick voice didn't annoy you guys. Hopefully, because it's annoying me. Um, yeah, this is the look. I love it. I got lipstick on my teeth the whole time. Hawking, great. Um, I hope you all enjoy the look. I hope you all try the look or try something, even if it's just the glitter liner, even if it's just the red lip with a bit of red on your eyes, anything like that. I hope you all like it. Um, so yeah, this is our Christmas, Christmas look. This is probably my last tutorial before Christmas. So Merry Christmas if you guys celebrate, cause I do and I can't wait. And yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it is. My only tutorial then will be probably a New Year's look if I decide or get time to do one. Um, but I do have other videos coming up before Christmas so don't worry about it. And you've probably already seen them. So yeah, cause I don't know when, what at what day this, video is going up and what could be going up before this so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the look give me a big thumbs up down below let me know in the comments what you want for christmas i want to know what you want for christmas and then for new year's tell me if you got it for christmas i want to know and yeah hit subscribe down below to see more looks see my new year's looks and to see anything and everything that i do in the new year next year 2020 it's weird i know so yeah i'll see you next video guys bye